Hi, Martin here. Today I'm out here at the North Las Vegas Pick Apart, and uh, I checked out on the internet. I'm going to show you an app too that's going to help you out a lot as far as finding out what inventory is at your Pick Apart. Uh, it's, it's called Row 51 or 52. Well, I'll show it to you in a minute. But I, on that app, I see there's an 04 out here and black. Good news for me because I'm looking for a hood and it's a Overland. Well, right away that tells you that it's a HO engine in there. Now, as you can see, someone's already got the cams. That's all right. I'm glad that uh, someone got those. Now, a friend of mine on uh, YouTube contacted me. Can't find a 545 TMC, uh, the transmission control unit. So that'd be the five-speed transmission control unit to convert your four-speed to a five-speed. Well, here's one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that for him. And I've been looking for a hood. Since this is the brilliant black pearl, I think this one looks pretty decent. There's a couple chips in it. And uh, I think I can touch that up with some touch-up paint and it's gonna be okay. Because I'm building a new Ram Air for my Jeep Grand Cherokee and the hole that I cut in that hood is now too big for the Ram Air that I want to build. So I'm going to grab this hood here and I think they're around $55. We'll find out when we roll up front and uh, see what the damage is. Alright, well let's get started. First I'm going to grab this uh, TCM. I brought my not so well equipped toolbox. I don't have a quarter drive ratchet, but I found a screwdriver that fits in there. Yep, that'll work. Okay, there we go. This should be around $35 plus some taxes. So we'll see what this is gonna run. All right, looks like a 13 millimeter. The little shock absorber, uh, they were already gone, so I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna mess this hood up. Okay. that caught me by surprise I don't know if you can see that there's a little chip right there I did see another one somewhere oh yeah it was right up here that might actually get covered by the hood scoop maybe that's gonna be close and then it had one of those sun or what do you call it the wind guard thing on it a little sticky stuff on here not a big deal, that'll come off. There's their writing. But other than that, the paint looks pretty good on here. I think this will clean up nice. Well, being an Overland, they got the two-tone leather seats out of here. And that's kind of what it would look like for the front seat. Um, and uh, they ripped out the carpet must have been in good shape there's the instrument cluster still here but they have definitely torn a lot of the dash out of here center console's gone and the headliner must have had a good headliner in here Oh yeah, then the Overland has the side airbags. If anybody needs a sunroof, there's one that's easy to get to right here. Here. Those are hard to come by. We'll go ahead and grab that.
I remember talking to uh, one of my subscribers and they said they were looking for a blue Grand Cherokee Fender. I can't remember if it was the driver's side or passenger side, but let me tell you, both these look really good. The paint looks nice, other than you got these racing stripes on here. But not a, I mean, it looks real good. You know, no bad spots in the paint. This is just dirt. Oh, here's something you don't see too often anymore, it seems like, the XJs. Uh, just become a collector's item. Uh, this one went right after part of the unibody. Must have had that whole corner got crunched and they want to save their vehicle. I can't blame them. This particular one is a 89. And I mean, these things generally get stripped down pretty good anymore. But as you can see, out here in southern Nevada, there is no rust. Someone cut the rear quarter off here. But not a bit of rust on this thing. I'm going to cut off the front part here too. header panel actually looks in good shape so if you're looking for one for the uh, the older Cherokee in white there's one sitting here now you rarely ever see a Wrangler at a pickup part they get stripped down very quickly as well this one obviously not from Nevada or at least not southern Nevada Yeah, see this one, it's not from Southern Nevada, I can guarantee you that. You can see some cancer right there too. And that, this probably is the 304, four barrel on it. So I'm gonna put some headers on it. Sweet. And what do you know? Another XJ, an 01 actually. This one looks like it's actually been here a little while. crunched I don't know if it was mine I would have tried to save it they also got the rear quarters cut off someone's after rear quarters Okay, I just uh, cruised the Dakota line or the truck line here, Dakotas, Durangos, and your Rams. And I'm not finding anything there as far as anything to pick from. Uh, so we're going to head up to the front counter and see what the damage is for the hood and the uh, TCM. Alright, just coming up front here, and this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. What do we got here? A 65 Ford, I'm going to guess? Look at that, yep right on the money 65 Ford look at all the rust on it oh there is none <laughs> I mean that is all metal right there and you just gotta love Southern Nevada there's the engine sitting right here someone pulled the engine and tranny out I mean an old 250 or 235 whatever those were back then C4 transmission but 
You know, if this was in the Rust Belt, there is no way this would be at a salvage yard. Someone would have done something with this. So I want to just show you more of the... Uh... See, I mean, look at that. There's no rust on this thing. Or is there? Maybe there's a little hole right there. Uh, here we go. Now I know, if you were living in Iowa, that right in this area and on both sides, you'd be watching the road go by. Not here. Look at that. Uh, actually, it's got a little bit of cancer right in there. It's starting to bubble up. But still, pretty doggone good shape. It's a uh, shame is when you see these the older trucks and cars out here. And, uh, you know, that's just gonna get crushed. All right, back from Pick Apart. Uh, got the hood here and got it cleaned up. I'm not 100% happy with it. And this is where, when you're buying stuff from Pick Apart, what's nice anyway, that they offer a 30-day warranty. Now that's if you purchase the warranty with the item, which costs a few dollars. Let's say for the TCM that I bought, it was, uh, I think, a $3.50 warranty. $3. No, it's a quarter charge of $3. Sorry. $3.50 for a 30-day warranty. Now, they don't care what's wrong with it. I mean, I even asked the guy one time. I go, what does that cover? And he said, I don't care if you come back and tell me you don't like the way it smells. <laughs> They're going to take it back. As long as you have a receipt, and long, of course, it's the same part. And they do mark the parts with, uh, oh, where is it? Yeah, like right there. There's the number. That's like the receipt number. And they tag a couple other spots so they know you didn't tamper with it. Now, which I think is a bargain. Now, I should have probably purchased the warranty for the hood. It would have been $6. The hood is $60 that I paid for it. And, um... I, after cleaning it up, I mean, the paint looks decent, except for like a couple of these rock chips, which I'm going to show you here. Let me show you that nick up close. Right there. And you can tell, you know, it's got a little rust in there even. And then the other one is right here. That's more toward the center of the hood. The hood scoop itself might cover that up. And then this one right out here up along the edge, right there. But the paint still looks pretty good. You can see the metallic in it. Um, that one I wasn't too concerned about. This one here looks like it's been here a while. And then there was one other. Um, but I've got it now and I'm just going to deal with that. And by the way, uh, they threw in the bracket. That was uh, for the TCM. They didn't charge me any extra for that. Now, another thing you can do, like I was mentioning, it's called Row 52, which is a great app, and it is for all participating salvage yards. And you can do a search on Row 52, and it kind of looks like that right there. And it's a great way, um, it gives you actually more information that you're going to get from your salvage yard uh, website like for instance they give you the VIN number that's perfect especially if you've got a Chrysler product 98 and newer that you're looking at and they got the VIN number there you take that VIN number you can go to this website that I'll give it in the description put the VIN number in there and it's gonna give you a build sheet it'll give you exactly what that vehicle came out with I mean right down to the floor mats it's going to tell you 
what came in that vehicle, which is great if you're looking for a particular engine or a rear axle gear ratio, what transmission it came with, all that stuff. And I'm also gonna provide you a link to Pick Apart itself. Uh, one thing I do like about the Pick Apart site, uh, they usually will put pictures of the vehicle in there. They've changed their website a little bit. A few things I actually don't like that they change. It always seems like when they change something, they take away something else that you're so used to, you know? Like they used to add the color. Well, now they don't. They don't tell you what color it is. You gotta look at the picture and, well, is that green or is that black? You know, you can't tell. Well, anyway, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is for my project on the Grand Cherokee I got sitting here next to me, where I'm gonna be building a new cold air intake and the hole is too big on my existing hood so that's why I've been looking for this one here uh, it's in decent shape I hope it works out for me I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did I sure appreciate the thumbs up that helps out the channel big time and if you never subscribed to me please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it and I'm also an Amazon affiliate please check in the description below where you'll find uh, products or tools that we may have used in this video. And you can do all your Amazon shopping just by clicking one of those links. And that helps out the channel as well. I get a small commission from that. I sure appreciate it. Well, thanks again for watching. And I will see you on the next one.